If you like these videos and you want to see them a day before they go up on YouTube, head over to Odyssey. It's an awesome alternative to YouTube, and I absolutely love it. Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy who just needs to get to the effing point, Gardner. Bro, do you not know how YouTube works? All right, today I've got quite a banger for you. Uh, here in my possession, I actually have a DualSense uh, controller. This is the controller for the PlayStation 5. Now, if you know anything about me, I'm kind of a huge controller nerd. In fact, uh, my favorite controller is the DualShock 5. Uh, I have the DualSense and the DualShock 4 here. I said DualShock 5, I said DualShock 4. This is the PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, this is my favorite controller of all time. And uh, I decided to pick up a DualSense to see how it stacks up. Now, there were a couple reasons I decided to get one of these, not the least of which was uh, to because I like USB-C a hell of a lot letter, better than I like micro USB. Um, so, uh, here's my uh, DualSense. Let's talk about my experience with this thing. Does it work on Linux? And let's compare it to the DualShock 4. Like I said, I'm a huge controller nerd. In fact, I have two big boxes of controllers. These are this is basically all controllers, except for like a, a, a plushie in there. I've got two of those boxes. So I'm a huge fan of controllers. I don't know why, I just like them. I think it's fun to mess around with uh, and try out new controllers. Each one has something different and unique that I like. So I thought to myself, you know, if the Dual Sense is an upgrade, then I should probably love it a whole lot. Uh, and it's okay. There's some things that I like about this controller and there's a few things that uh, I just prefer this one with. Um, let's talk about those things. So just holding them in your hand, uh, the, the dual sense feels a little bit more ergonomic. It feels a little bit more um, weighty. It, 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 my, con my hands like grip the controller a little better. The textured back, is actually really cool and what uh, it feels nice and what you don't see when when you look at it unless you look like real close the back texture is actually a bunch of uh, crosses circles triangles and squares which is the uh, the same icon layout as on the uh, the the face buttons here i don't know i i really like the way this controller uh feels in the hand um i also really love the uh, the clickiness of the bumpers or r1 and uh, L1. Uh, the DualShock 4's buttons aren't as clicky. The triggers are also a little bit more resisting of your uh, inputs, which I kind of like. Uh, the DualShock 4 has far less, uh, it, has, it feels like it has less travel and it feels like it has uh, less resistance, which I kind of like the resistance of the DualSense. Um, the, uh, the share and uh, menu buttons are, are much more clicky. They're very tactile, which I'd enjoy. The trackpad feels about the same when it comes to uh, tapping or clicking the pad. The analog sticks feel pretty good. They're a little, they have a little bit more resistance, but that could be just because I've used my DualShock 4 for quite a long time. I've had that since the original, uh, since the PlayStation came out actually. Um, and as far as the D-pad and the face buttons go, they're not my favorite. Um, I actually, I feel like there's more membrane in the way when it comes to pushing it. And it just feels slightly less responsive. So that's the controller. Now, I haven't been able to test the haptics. I haven't been able to test the, uh, the resistive triggers. I haven't been able to test the microphone or the speaker in this thing. Uh, that's because I don't have and don't plan on getting a PlayStation 5. And uh, there's no uh, driver specifically for this device on Linux. So let's talk about uh, Linux support. That was interesting. I wasn't 100% sure that Linux would actually work on this thing, uh, or this thing would work on Linux, I, I should say. Um, the uh, the DualSense has uh, a generic gamepad driver available. Uh, it works. Um, it works through USB-C. Um, I haven't tested the Bluetooth because I don't have a Bluetooth adapter. Oh, you know what? I can actually test Bluetooth right here uh, on uh, on my Thaleo because my Thaleo has Bluetooth. Let's try it, shall we? And there you go. Wireless controller. Looks like it's connected. Um, and, I mean, it's connected. <laughs> do I have Steam on here? I don't remember. Yeah, I do. Yeah, so it looks like uh, the, the Bluetooth is working on this as well on Linux, which is really, uh, it's nice to see. I, I had seen online, 
I had seen some uh, YouTube videos where the DualSense was being connected to like Android and iOS devices. So I figured it would probably work through Bluetooth on Linux, but I'm happy to see that it also works uh, wired as well. Um, I am a, I'm a proponent of wired controllers. Uh, there's less lag. Uh, and uh, Bluetooth is notoriously finicky for me in my experience. So I figure, hey, uh, let's, uh, let's try it. Why not? And uh, if, if worse comes to worse, I can return it, you know, if it doesn't work. So when I first connected it to my PC, I realized that the face buttons were mapped wrong. All of the other buttons were wrong. The axes for the right analog stick were mapped to the triggers. Uh, it was wrong. But you can just open up um, the, uh, the Steam big picture mode, uh, enable generic gamepad support, and you can actually create an SD2, uh, SDL2 mapping for this controller for your Steam games. And there's SDL, uh, there's ways to map SDL controllers or buttons for SDL configurations through the rest of the system. Uh, let's open up uh, big picture mode and I'll show you what I did to, to map the, uh, the controls here. So you can see I can move around with the uh, D-pad and the analog stick. And if I go up here to uh, uh, the settings, if I hit X, nothing happens. But if I hit square, I can go in and go to the controller settings. Uh, and then you enable generic gamepad support and you wanna click on define layout. And then uh, the primary button, let's go ahead and uh, you're going to have to use the mouse to do this. Uh, let's set that to uh, the cross button. Let's go to back button and that should be circle. Uh, tertiary button should be, there you go, triangle. Secondary button should be zero. And there you go. Now those are the correct button configurations. Start should be nine. Uh, guide should be 12, whoops. A back button should be eight. Left stick click should be 10, 11. Also, it looks like the uh, the triggers are actually buttons instead of uh, axes. Uh, that's, that's no good. Yeah, and there you go. You can see now that we have the axes for the sticks configured and everything. But as soon as I have the sticks configured, the D-pad stops working on here. That's another thing that I noticed, um, which for menus, I prefer the D-pad. The thing is, it's a great controller. It works well on Linux, but in most instances, I still prefer the DualShock 4 uh, because for, to be honest, most of the games that I play are platformers and the face buttons just don't feel quite as tight and responsive as the DualShock 4's controller uh, face buttons do. Um, now I did play this game with Spelunky 2. I played it with Dead Cells. Uh, I also tried Halo the Master Chief Collection. Um, I tried Doom Eternal and it won't launch for me anymore no matter what I do, so weird. Um, I also tried, uh, I tried Doom 64. It works pretty well in Doom 64. And um, I mean, it's a pretty decent controller all around. I like the fact that it works Bluetooth and uh, wired over USB-C. USB Type-C is my favorite connector now, uh, and I want all of my devices to use USB-C. Um, in fact, that might be a cool mod to like to mod a PlayStation 4 controller to use USB-C. I wonder if anyone's done that. Anyway, yeah. It's an interesting little device. I like it. I feel like it's probably better for shooters than it is like a traditional uh, side scroller, but uh, yeah, good stuff. It works on Linux. I'm excited to see uh, when like actual DualShock drivers hit the uh, <laughs> hit the kernel because that would be cool to be able to try the haptics in this to uh, and to use the trackpad because the trackpad doesn't work at all right now. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I like this thing. I'm probably gonna keep it and, and just play around with it and continue to goof around and have fun. One weird thing is like when you hold the controller and you tap it like that, you get like a vibration, like a spring or something, which doesn't happen with this controller. So I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you think. Do you want me to test this uh, with other devices and other uh, front ends instead of Steam? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know what you guys think about the, uh, the DualSense. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you believe in the work that I do, you can help support the show over on Patreon. You can pick up a t-shirt like this, or you can uh, become a channel member here on YouTube. Um, I think that's going to do it for now, though. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and have a blessed day.